I want to show you how to spot a false Christ even if he chooses not to use the title. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Trick Theology. Yeshua said the following, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive their very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Matthew 24 verse 24, 25. So let's say I walk onto a stage and I introduce myself to you as Christ. I believe that you're going to respond by calling me false Christ. That is because you do not expect me to be Christ. And I think you're right. The trouble is, the word Christ in English comes from the Greek word Christos. Now Greek is not just a language, it is a culture. So what the word means in that culture is what you are referring to every time you use the word Christ. I need you to pay close attention. Christ actually means anointed. And if I introduce myself to you as Christ and you respond with revulsion, why is it that if I walk in front of you today and I introduce myself to you as anointed man of God, why is it that it does not elicit the same response? Do you know why? It is because you have been deceived and the deception does not exist in the Bible. It was planted in your head by your religion. Every time somebody announced themselves to you as anointed man of God, you're going to ignore it. But every time somebody walks in front of you and says, I am Christ, you're going to get angry. You have come to believe a lie and like a baby, you still believe that there has to be a difference between the word and its meaning. Hello. Now, I need you to pay close attention. The false Christ has a large following because he also runs a global religion. He's worshipped just like Yeshua. Because you know that Yeshua has warned his disciples that there shall be this deception which can affect even the very elect. Don't you think you have to stay awake all the time and be alert to evidences that could prove that where you are right now is unsafe? you cannot find a false Christ in a mosque. That's because they don't believe in Christ there. And you cannot find a false Christ in a shrine because they don't know Christ in the shrine. To qualify for the title of Christ, even the false Christ has to be Christian. If you're part of the Christian religion, there's a reason why you will never understand the Bible. That is because you need a mirror in order to see your own face. I am the righteous conqueror. I wage love. I hate war. There is more in this book. The second edition of Follow the Name to Wisdom, Truth and Secrets.